What is a simple electric motor? It looks like this. When the bare metal half of the shaft contacts the posts, electricity flows through the coil. That creates a magnetic force that makes the coil turn. If the north face of the magnet is up, and the current flows in the direction of the copper color arrows, the rotation is in the direction of the red curved arrow. When the coil flips around, if electricity were maintained, the current would be in the opposite direction, and the rotation direction of the coil would be reversed. But, the painted face of the shaft cuts off the electricity. So, the coil continues to turn on its own momentum, until the electricity flows again, and the cycle repeats. It's time to put theory into practice. Let's build a motor. We will need these materials. And these tools. Let's start with a coil. To make the shaft, first cut about 10 centimeters of electrical tape into strips and strip two 10 centimeter pieces of 1.6 millimeter wire. Wrap half the length of one wire with a tape, completely cover the end of the wire. Then, wrap the two wires together, overlapping on half of their lengths. Bend the wire to make the shaft straight and centered. Paint the shaft on half of its circumference with an oil-based primer or nail polish. Nail polish is cheap at the dollar store, compared to paint, and it dries fast. Next, make a 5 cm cardboard tube. Cut two slots in it to insert the shaft. Now, take the magnet wire, completely remove the varnish on the first 5 cm with sandpaper. Hold the shaft against the slots. Wrap the magnet wire around the tube. One turn on each side of the shaft. Make at least 20 turns. Cut off the magnet wire and slip the coil off the tube. Use the loose ends of the magnet wire to wrap the strands together and to tie the coil to the shaft. Sand the varnish off the other end of the magnet wire. Wrap the ends around the shaft. Make sure there is good electrical contact between the wire and the shaft. Wrap some wire around the taped part of the shaft to make it difficult for the shaft to turn in the coil. Make sure the shaft is straight and the coil is symmetric around the shaft. Check the assembly for electrical continuity, meaning zero resistance between the two ends of the shaft. Bend one end of a 10 cm piece of 1.6 mm wire into a loop. Bend another piece of 1.6 mm wire into an open loop, for the second post. Slip pieces of insulation back onto the posts, to be used as stoppers. Cut two pieces of 1 cm thick styrofoam as shown. In one of the pieces, cut the openings for the magnet and the batteries. To make the contacts for the batteries, cut two pieces of cardboard slightly longer than the width of the cavity for the batteries. Wrap a full width strip of aluminum foil around one of the cardboard pieces. Wrap two strips of aluminum foil around the second cardboard piece, make sure they don't touch each other. Tape the aluminum strips to the cardboard, to make sure they don't fall off. Strip the insulation off the ends of two small wires, then slip them under the aluminum strips. 
Bend the ends of the wire to make sure they don't slip off. Install the contacts in the battery cavity. Stack the two pieces of foam, and pin them together with toothpicks. To make the propeller, draw a cardboard template, copy it onto a piece of thick plastic, then cut it out. Reinforce the center with electrical tape. Punch a hole for the shaft with a thumbtack, then enlarge it using a skewer stick. Cut a piece of insulation on an angle, drive it into the hole, then trim the end. Pull the blades to make them perpendicular to the shaft, then twist them into shape. If necessary, use a hair dryer to soften the plastic. Install the magnet, and the batteries. Check if the meter reads 3 volts. If not, make sure the batteries follow the plus and minus signs, and make good contacts with the aluminum foil. Install the posts, and connect the battery wires. Install the propeller on the shaft, then slide the assembly into the post loops. Give to propeller a spin. The motor should continue to turn on its own. To build a boat, just add a deck made of a piece of foam measuring about 14 cm wide by 20 cm long. Cut it to the shape of boat you like. Then, install the motor on the deck. Why not building two boats and have a race? <laughs>